We got quality cars at low prices. Quality cars at low prices. On a lot of financing for me and you. No credit, bad credit, who gives a toot? Come on, come and see us at Main Street, Main Street Automotive. Main Street, Main Street Automotive. Main Street, you need a car, bring us some cash. What's up everybody on the channel? Today we're gonna be taking a quick look at a 1984 Chevy, so, <laughs> no, a 1984 Ford F-150 sitting right back there. Has not been cranked up in over eight months that it's been sitting there. It's actually been sitting there more than eight months. The store's only been open two years. And according to the elderly salesman here, he says that the truck's been here since he was here and it never has moved or ran. Well, today we're gonna see if the mechanic can get up and under there and get that truck running because we want to sell it. We want to market it and get it up here on the YouTube channel and out there on Facebook. And the only way to do that is to get that truck running. So stay with us. Let's take a look right before we get up under the hood. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us again here on Charleston Car Videos. We're actually outside of Charleston today in a city called Monk's Corner. And yes, Monk's, that's correct. Monk's actually, that's the reason why it's called Monk's Corner because there's a, uh, I think a Monk's Sanctuary of somewhat out here somewhere and the Monk's are famous for their eggs. But this video is not about Monk's and eggs today. We're looking at this Ford F-150 truck here on the channel. Seems like a lot of y'all haven't really thoroughly enjoyed some of the older cars that I've been finding on camera that are kind of like this and just been sitting around and collecting dust. But today we're gonna try to get this thing cranked up. But before we do, um, I wanted to show it to you and let you kind of see it. So let me get my mug off of camera and let you see the truck. So there it is. This is a 1984 Ford F-150. You know, as I looked at the truck earlier, I'm like, you know, this truck's actually in pretty decent shape. I mean, the front is looking pretty good. You know, you got your chrome grill going on. The Sylvania halogen headlights are still looking pretty much brand new. The blinkers are good. I mean, nothing's all broken and cracked out. The 302 is not too bad. I mean, it could use a little cleaning under here, but hey, it's not a necessarily a show truck, you know, but there's potential. And then as you can see, she's actually rolling over a set of 22 inch, holy mackerel, uh, 22 inch rims. I don't know how those are gonna fit on here, but the mechanic says the lug pattern's right. And that's gonna be interesting to see, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, and then the color scheme is really cool. I mean, it has like the Superman thing going on <laughs> with her hat in the truck. I mean, I can't wait to see her in there trying to crank this thing up and uh, help get it running. But it's definitely been collecting a ass load of pollen. I mean, there's the pollen is so thick on the windshield here, you can't even really get it off. Okay, so this is, we're talking years of pollen, and obviously this truck has probably been sitting somewhere even before it was sitting right here at this place. But our mechanic here says the pollen can come off, you get the pressure washer, spray this bad boy down, and this thing can probably come out nice and shiny again with a nice coat of wax. You know, back in the day, trucks pretty much came with just long beds, which looks cool. And a lot of trucks were just a regular cab. They didn't have, you know, big four-door trucks and all back in the 80s. Anyways, let's take a look and see how the rear tailgate's looking. But, I mean, yeah, there's a lot going on here. But, I mean, the back tailgate, look at that. I mean, it's in great shape. You know, of course, this is not the original paint on the truck. It's obviously been resprayed, but whoever did, did a pretty decent job on it. And I'm loving this color combination. Um, it definitely could probably use a new back bumper, you know, but it's not in that, it's not in bad shape. It's just, you know, that old diamond plate, kind of rough, uh, rough, rugged kind of look. And um, he's gonna go ahead and actually get this truck jacked up and maybe we'll get a look today and see how it looks with the rims on it. So obviously that's off a little bit, as you can see. All right, so that's off a little bit. I'm gonna hold this up for a minute while he's doing that. So, 
so it doesn't hit him in the arm. The interior inside the truck's actually in great shape, everybody. Um, even, you know, pay attention to stuff like this. I mean, the molding's right here in really good shape around this back window. The back window's in good shape. Door handles, look at that. Still in good shape. Keyhole looking good. I mean, the mirrors look good. And it doesn't really seem to be, like, rusted out like a lot of older vehicles are. Um, the inside, definitely rolling with blue on the interior of this truck. Man, I'm telling you, old school vehicles, there was something about their steering wheels. I mean, look how itty bitty that is. I mean, there's no putting no, uh, you know, steering wheel cover on there. I mean, gosh, steering wheels back in the day really were thin, as you can see. Um, but the dash in this truck is in great shape. No, no cracking at all. I mean, and it's a hard plastic. So I guess I'm thinking that probably whoever had owned this truck previously most likely replaced the dash in it at some point. And I'm sure they probably sell dashes and stuff for old school trucks like this. Look at this, the original radio from 1984. There's your air conditioner system. Got a couple old cigarette butts in there. And um, it, well, 85 on the dash, but 298,000 miles on the odometer. Got the good old column shifter that everybody seems to love and roll up windows. Roof line looks good and the seat actually is in not that bad a shape. It's got a rip right here and a rip there, but I mean, hey, that's really not too bad. You know, I always tell people, I'm like, you know, roll up windows, less things to break 10 years down the road. I mean, and look at that, still rolling down just fine and dandy. I mean, really is less things to break 10 years down the road. You know, if you can find you a truck nowadays with roll up windows, go for it, right? But unfortunately, if you're gonna get a truck with roll up windows in 2019, you're probably getting just a basic work truck. Um, you, you know, nicer trucks just aren't coming with roll up windows. But back in 84, that's what you got, you know? And they may have had some power options, but this one's got the roll-up windows. Emblems look good. Anyways, there it is. We're going to take a break real quick. I'm going to go grab something to drink. And uh, we're going to come back, see how the wheels look, and see how it is cranking it up. All right, here's your 22s. You know, actually, I, I think these rims are actually going to look pretty good on there. Got a nice, clean six-spoke big old chrome lips tires are brand spanking new on your tires look at that looking pretty good and look at this guys i mean it's fitting up right on there isn't it freak is that like a universal bolt pattern yeah on the wheel yeah okay and people those rims are heavy for sure Ooh, no, that's fine. See up there? Okay. It's got to have a. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? It fits on there. It's the right size bolt. Right. That fucking. What's hot out here? Yeah, at least got a little shade over here though. All right. See, this is for a Chevy. That's a Chevy's bolt pattern there. You see what I'm saying? Uh huh. All right. This is for forward. And you clearing the ground now, right? Huh? You clear it, right? Yeah, I'm clearing it. Okay. That's clear right there. Okay, you See how it fits on there? It fits on there. Right. So it does fit. Yeah, I just gotta get it. You gotta get it lined up properly. It's heavy as fuck. Yeah. I'll set the camera down. You need me to help you. We need to pick you. Level. Put that fuck on that level. I can't hold that bitch on the level. Well, I got all the well, Can we get it up and then put and then screw the lugs in? We gotta get it up and put and then level on there. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying? We gotta get this one on and this one on. We're good. Okay. Right. Spin right it right here. here. It is heavy. I told you. Okay. Spin. Right. Spin. No, that's it right there. Yeah. That's it right there, y'all. Right. You gotta hit it in. Now it's gotta go in. Yeah. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do see. Go for it. Gotta rock it in. I gotta get that drumble no. thing I got and then. I'm gonna round out the little bit. Because it's off just a little bit. A little bit. I'm gonna get right, that I'm dremel and I'm gonna put that dremel on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? What was that thing in there? Spiders. Man. I told you watch those spiders a while ago. I, I know. I was kidding. Brown recluse. Things ain't no 
Yeah. See how easy, close it is, man. Yeah. It's, See, it's there, That's right? That's there, man. It's just off just a little bit. Cause you gotta remember, everybody, this is an '84. So. Mm. Well, it seems like those, I can get them on there. Then how much? These like bottom ones off. Mm. Oh, let me get the top on first. Come on. <laughs> Let's get the top on. We get the bottom on. Hold it right there until I get my bolt. I'm legit, yep. Yeah. And then I'm gonna kick that fucking bottom on. Yeah. And then ain't no more coming off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, go for it. There we go. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? No. All right, hold on. We're still in at the top. Oh, oh. Ah, yeah, that's it. We got a quick button now. Like that. See, that's it right there. Right. You can't get the one top, top right in. It really needs them bigger, longer lug nuts, you know? But I guess with this rim, I don't know. Oh, shit. That's it, though. That's it. it. It goes on there. It's got a fucking... It's got two more inches uh -huh. that can go back. You see what, what I'm saying? Get the, uh, I need to get, get a rubber mallet. Things or... I got to get a rubber mallet and push it back. We got to hit the tire on. No, you would kept the mail yeah. rubber mallet. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. We got to hit it on there. That's all it is. Okay. And I tap that motherfucker right there like that. Ah. Yes, yeah. sir, ma'am. Asked for a rubber mallet. You're right. Yeah, that's moving. That's going in. All right, so he couldn't get the rim on the other way. So what he's doing right now is taking a Dremel tool and Dremeling out right there because it's basically off just a little bit. If those holes were opened up just a little more, it would slide right in there. So unfortunately, you might have to do that on all four wheels. But, uh, you know, when you work dealing with old school stuff like this and you got new school wheels, sometimes you got to do some uh, customizations, right? Yeah. Run. Said it wouldn't run. All right, he never run? says he never seen the run? F-150 right, run in eight months, right? Now this is the 86 right here, right? 86? That's the 84. 84 uh, with a 302 small block V8 under there. We learning. He's about to crank it up, or she's actually going to crank it up. He's he's getting it ready to rock and roll. Let's see. Body on it though, pretty good shape. He's going to put 22 inch rims on it, and then we're going to flip it and make some money. How about that? We're gonna try to. Let's see. Come on, Punky. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You mind me filming? Are you all right? No, I don't care. No? All right, cool. As long as whoever's watching doesn't mind, I'm covered in paint. <laughs> That's all good. You what? What do you say, little lady? <laughs> Uh -huh. You better watch them out. Yes, dear. Put it down. Pop it a little bit. Press it. That is her. There we go. Muscle car, don't it? That's American right oh, there, no, right? Really good. It does look good, yeah. yeah. Really good. All right, we're good. It looks pretty good, too. Pretty good? No, I want let to it run. I want to see if it runs hot. Can you put some water in before we left? I did.
All right, F-150, man, 1984, uh, regular cab. I like the color scheme, the blue and the silver. That looks pretty cool. I think this truck gonna be really pretty sweet ride when it gets all done up. I've been sitting here for a long time, everybody. Exhaust sounds good too. Sound like I got some little. I think got like a little chop to it, don't it? Yeah. Sound like you got flow masters under there or something. See, this is when trucks came with long beds in the back. Okay, so now he just cranked it up again. Jerome over to the other store everybody and fix the Monte Carlo SS that everybody's been asking about the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT that we talked about the Chevy Corvette that we showed you we gotta get this fellow over there and get that stuff running if he got this running he can get that running also they got some other stuff out here is kind of cool old school uh, Ford van but uh, this dually right here uh, Chevy Silverado take a look at that um yeah that's a dually old school okay, go for it. there's uh actually a, in just a short amount of time that I've been uh, working out here uh, there's been a couple people that have stopped by and looked at this truck and uh, according to the salesman there the older black gentleman he said one of the guys that comes by comes by every week and just rides in the parking lot and uh, just to make sure it's still here well sooner or later we're gonna have to sell that man that truck anyways but uh, the mechanic says that's definitely next on the list to get up and running so get a little bit of everything out here also has also have a uh, an El Camino right there kind of old school pretty interesting so a little bit of everything all right guys have a great day uh, thanks for watching the quick clip of the f-150 and um, we're trying to make something out of nothing and uh, lately out here it's been nothing we're trying to turn into something we'll see you soon are you making something out of nothing I hope so have a great day guys we'll see you soon on the next video clip